wife, she was, she volunteered on the committee. She told me about the, the scholarship or the grants that they gave out. We had already discussed about wanting to leave something, a legacy for future generations. And that was something we had discussed about when we retired, that we would try to do something like that. Our specific type of fund is for trades. We saw that there were so many programs for people that, or so many grants and scholarships that were given out for people that are in college. We wanted something for the trades. We're real estate investors, and we're always looking for plumbers, electricians, and carpenters, and we see that there's a need. And we also know that in the trade school, the kids could come out already with a career, making good money to start helping their family or helping themselves. I own a wellness center in New Haven, Massage Aesthetics and Recovery, and I am also a part-time realtor. Since I was young, I had intuitive touch, so what better way to put that to work than to work with my hands and help people through massage? So I came to New Haven when I was around 12. My mom was one of two um, Hispanic businesses in the area in New Haven and I saw the neighborhood change and transform to all the diversity that we see now. And being a volunteer for different causes, I, I saw the need in the community. And the trades was really dear to our hearts because we are real estate investors, we're landlords, so we saw the need for the trades. And what better way to help in that field than to create a fund that would help those kids go to trade school with uniforms, computers, uh, taking the bus, an iPad, anything that can help them, this fund is there to meet that need. I was volunteering with the Progresso Latino Fund and I learned how easy it is to set up a fund. Prior to this, I thought it was something people, wealthy people did when they pass away um, and that you needed a lot of money. And as I learned about the fund, I also, um, I was inspired. I went home and I told my husband, we can do this now. We don't have to wait till we leave something behind. We can start this now to help generations and generations, to help the community, to give back, to, to show people that we're a Hispanic family. And if we can do it, you can do it too. What we hope to achieve is uh, leave a legacy, leave something uh, better than what we found it. Seeing that we are, we're both from Fairhaven, and uh, we see a need in our community.